Hey guys, this is Bales. I'm at Player Models, and I wanted to show you some of the new data that we have this year for MLB that I'm really excited about. I think that this is some data that um, no one else in DFS really has, um, and it could potentially be really useful. So um, we have two new sections of advanced stats. Advanced stats over the past 15 days, and then advanced stats over the past year, which is um, a running 12-month total for each player. So we have, I'll just go through the stats for the year count, which is just the number of games in the sample for a player. Distance, which is the average distance of batted balls. EV is exit velocity or batted ball velocity. That's the average velocity of batted balls for a player. Um, fly ball, ground ball, and live line drive percentages, pretty self-explanatory. HH is hard hit percentage. That's the percentage of balls that qualify as um, being hit hard based on that exit velocity data. Um, ground balls per fly ball. And then air time, which is the average time that a ball is in the a batted ball is in the air before it is caught or hits hits the ground. So this is some um, really really interesting stuff that I think has a lot of applications to DFS um, that we can study uh, over large samples like um, this year period or over um, smaller ones like the past 15. So the past 15 days for a batter is generally going to be you can see 12, 11, 12, 13, maybe 14 games. For a pitcher, it's just going to be a few starts. Um, so it's potentially a way to see who's throwing the ball well, who's hitting well, that isn't captured in traditional metrics or even some advanced metrics like WOBA or ISO, which are very results oriented so guys hitting the ball really hard and just right at defenders um, obviously we're not going to capture that with any sort of traditional stat we need basically a, a number that quantifies how hard he's hitting the ball like hard hit or exit velocity so we have all of those same stats then we have um, three additional stats in the 15 um, day period which is a differential so this is the difference between um, uh, a particular stat over the past 15 days and as compared to a player's um, same stat over the past year. So cargo is number one um, in this particular model. This is a random day from last year and uh, he was actually playing really, really well of late. I'm actually going to look at I didn't even look at his game log. Um, so he actually wasn't scoring that many points. There was a uh, a three out of four game stretch where he's hitting really well, but overall I'd say um, actually not that amazing of a stretch. You can see his plus minus is sort of all over, but there was really good evidence he was hitting the ball really, really well over that 15 day period. Exit velocity on average 94, that's two miles per hour higher than is typical for him. Um, hard hit percentage, 46%, really, really high compared to 35% for him overall over the prior year. So that was 11 percentage points higher. And then distance, 246 feet, very far. Distance is something that I'm studying a lot. I actually really like this stat. I think that it's going to be more predictive than maybe people think. Um, a lot of people know about batted boat ball velocity, um, hard hit percentage, I think, but not as many look at distance. Um, from what I'm seeing, it, it seems to be quite predictive, but that um, distance was 28 feet farther than his average batted ball distance, and he's doing that over a 15-day period, so it's a good piece of evidence that he's indeed hitting the ball well. Um, and so we have all of these stats. You can incorporate them into your models here. You can see I actually didn't incorporate. This is just a test model. Um, uh, uh, didn't incorporate any of that, so cargo was up there. Anyway, if we waited to this stuff, he probably would go up even higher. You can also play around with it in trends. We have um, uh, all of this data in trends that you can create your own fantasy angles using it. So maybe you look at uh, players exit velocity or batted ball distance when he's hitting the ball really well, but actually um, not getting on base for whatever reason, maybe as a, a normal Woba, a normal ISO over a 15 day stretch or a month stretch, but his batter ball velocity is up, his average uh, distance on those batter balls is up, which would suggest that he's just getting unlucky and see what sort of plus minus that returns. Um, but we're going to be able to do a lot of really cool stuff with this. We have um, we have other things that we want to do. We have XY coordinates of every batted ball. So we're going to be able to do some cool stuff, I think, with spray charts, um, but maybe some stadium overlays. There could be uh, – we have pitch locations. Um, 
We also have pitch velocity, which is already up on the site for, for pitchers, so a similar concept to exit velocity. We also have exit velocity against, so our pitchers allowing hard or soft contact um, over a certain period of time. So a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, I haven't even really used it um, that much just because we got it up onto the site. So we'll see uh, what sort of um, impact it has on, on models and how we can use it to um, create better player ratings. But definitely something that I'm excited about and you should check out.